Hi, Rima students. How are you? Several people are standing in a straight line. Uh, starting at one end of line, uh, counted as the fifth person. So here's one end. All right, here's the, they're the fifth person. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the fifth person. And starting at the other end, he's counted as the, it's the 12th. You can't see it, but it's the 12th person. How many people are in the line? All right. So the 12th person from the back. Okay, so we go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And it's the 12th person. Let's count. Here's 12, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 people are in line, the fifth from the back, and 12th from the front. 16. Next one. The graph above is total expenditures of company Y, where $1 million, it's big, always know the num number, $1 million of the following pi chart represents the total expenditures of the company. Which of the chart does the shaded area best represent the expenditures of shipping and energy? The expenditures of shipping and energy. So here's shipping and energy. It's um, about 250000 It's 250000 of the um, total, but they don't want the shipping and energy. They want the others, the expenditures of shipping and uh, energy, such as supplies, such as ads, images, miscellaneous. So when it makes the pie chart, it wants, so this is the, that's 25% of 1 million, so it's gonna be like this. And the pie chart is gonna have the Expenditures of shipping and energy. Which one is that? Nope, that would represent the shipping and energy. Again, shipping and energy. This is almost, uh, this looks like 33%. This is definitely a solid 25%, but it shows that the expenditures is there. It's D. This is how it would look. It's, it's representing the expenditures, not, not shipping and energy. It's representing the other. It's representing $750,000. It's over here. Thank you very much. Have a great day.